what to do when you suddenly can't take screenshots on your iPhone and iPad? Restart your iPhone or iPad. The problem could have occurred due to a glitch or a bug in the software, which can easily be eliminated with a simple restart. After the restart, check if the screenshot feature works normally. Check the buttons. Check if the buttons you use to screenshot the screen are not damaged, and you can easily press them. If you see any visible damage and it's hard to press the buttons, we recommend taking your iPhone or iPad to an authorized service for an inspection. Update your iPhone or iPad. Open the Settings app. Go to General Settings. Then, tap on Software Update. Wait while your device searches for updates. If found any, tap on Download and Install. Restore your iPhone or iPad to factory settings. Make sure to back up all your important data so you won't lose it. After the reset, you'll be able to restore the file you backed up. Open the Settings app. Go to General Settings. Scroll down and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone iPad. Then, select Erase All Content and Settings. Follow the on-screen instructions. Take a screenshot with Assistive Touch. Open the Settings app on your device. Scroll down and go to Accessibility, under Physical and Motor, tap on Touch. Select Assistive Touch. Next to Assistive Touch, toggle the switch to enable the feature. When a button appears on your device screen, tap on it. And from the menu, select Device, tap on More, and select the Screenshot option. Take a screenshot with 3D Touch. Open the Settings app on your device. Scroll down and go to Accessibility, under Physical and Motor, tap on Touch, select Assistive Touch. Next to Assistive Touch, toggle the switch to enable the feature. Under Custom Actions, tap on 3D Touch, then, select Screenshot. Now, if the Assistive Touch button is grayed out, tap on it to activate and press the button again with force until it takes a screenshot. Hopefully, this video provided the information you were looking for. If you're using a Mac computer, we would like to suggest scanning it with Combo Cleaner. It will check your computer for malicious software infections and advertising supported software. The Disk Cleaner option will scan your computer for app caches, logs, downloaded files, and files still sitting in the trash. It will also show you how much space what files to take up on your Mac. Combo Cleaner will also help you look through all big files on your Mac and delete those you don't need. You can also scan Mac for duplicate files. Sometimes you might not know that you have a few copies of the same file. A privacy scanner that will help you remove cookies, cache, browse history and more. And an app uninstaller that will find all hidden app components and uninstall them for you. You won't need to worry about viruses and clutter on your Mac anymore. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel.